Right, today I thought I'd record this cross flow cylinder head being converted to lead free and uh, gas flowed. Um, it's going to be running the original standard valves, which I'll recondition. Um, I'll be fitting bronze thin wall guides in the cylinder head because there is a little bit of play uh, in the guide. And then a new set of valve springs, skim all the sides up and then and then just uh, like a stage one port in not that i really agree with stages but it, it, it's going on virtually a standard engine so it needs to be done in stages and this is the first one
So on this 1600 cross flow, I've now fitted lead free seats. I fitted thin wall bronze valve guides, which I've time lapsed that as well. Um, so now what I'm gonna do is port it. Um, so I'll put a bit of charge in the GoPro and time lapse that as well.
There's the cross flow, that's all ported now and polished through. Um, that's the exhaust side, that's opened up to the gasket. So now I'm gonna wash it just to get the cast out of it. Uh, then machine all the sides again, machine the head face. Um, cut the seats again, because where I've been, and out with, been in and out with the grinder, it's, um, it's clipped them in places. But yeah, that's all done to, to spec, so I'll do the next operation and uh, record that too. So I want to um, machine both, well all three, uh, gasket faces. So that's exhaust gasket, rocker cover and inlet. So I'll do them now and then I'll flip it over uh, and reface the head surface. Uh, and then it's cut the seats, give it a wash, uh, paint it and build it. Uh, so the main thing that I have to do when I'm uh, resurfacing cast iron is change the cutter. This is uh, what's used for machining aluminium. Um, so this, I take that out, uh, I fit a bar in there to keep it in balance and then basically it uses these stone segments then for grinding. Um, this stone segment is a multi-purpose segment so you can grind aluminium with it as well so if you've got an alley head that's got uh, steel combustion chambers in it or the valve seats very close then these are the stones for that Let's see if i can get a better shot of it So there we are, that's the uh, head face skimmed, the inlet face skimmed, the rocker and thermostat face skimmed, 
and the exhaust manifold face skimmed. Um, so I've got to cut the seats next, so I'm going to quickly give it a wash off, get all the uh, cast dust off it, give my machine a clean, and then I'll cut the seats. I'll time lapse that. That's the cross flow valves all shot blasted up. So now I'm going to polish the stems. Right, that's the, the cylinder head is now out the wash. Um, so I've got to paint it now. Like I said earlier, the, the manifold faces are all cleaned up, all refaced. It's got bronze thimble guides in it. It's fully ported. So checking the, um, the installed height of the valve springs, I've installed an inlet and an exhaust valve. I've put the re spring retainer on it, on both inlet and exhaust with the collet. The installed height for this is 32 mil. So what I do from here on cross flows, it's relatively easy, is I get my vernier, I hold one of the valves open, or closed, sorry. So I'm pushing against the vernier, uh, the retainer, sorry. I'm pushing against the retainer. I'll then bring the vernier down so I've got my reading. And then I'll get one of the other matching retainers, which is here. And then I'll measure the thickness of the retainer and take that number away from the height that I've got. And that gives me the installed height of the spring. As you can see on the box, the installed height is 32 mil. And I basically need to put uh, a 0.5 of a mil spring, uh, sorry, uh, shim underneath here to give me the right installed height. So that's relatively an easy one to do. It means I don't have to take anything off the platform. If it was the other way, then I would just have to set the, the cylinder head up on, on the pro valve machine. And then just with a 90 degree, just come in and trim that. But with the wrong side of it so it's a lot easier we just put shims in that
So I'm right near the end of the um, the cross flow cylinder head. Um, I've got the inlet valves in. I've put the exhaust stem seals on. Now I'm just putting the exhaust valves in and then it's a vac test and then it's ready for the customer to collect. The last job on the cross flow is to vac test the valves or the valve seat. So I do that by um, using my pro valve machine. Um, it's got a vac report uh, system into it. Um, then that pad seals against the inlet and the exhaust port. And then this here tells us how much vacuum the port is, uh, is making. If it gets into the green, we know we're good. So first job is to <clears throat> record the data. So, um, I put it onto inlet cylinder one and then you can put in these boxes here who the customer is so I could just put here cross flow and then it saves it there so first thing to do is to switch the vac test on that noise you can hear is the vacuum being made and then put it against the port and then watch the gauge go up and then you save the data and then you can go to the next cylinder and doing exactly the same process on the exhausts so once again you can change the settings on the machine to exhaust it automatically puts it on to test one switch the vacuum on cylinder one first save the test Last one. And that's it. That's all of the inlet and the exhaust ports uh, vac tested. Well, that's just made me jump. <laughs> I was just finishing off me cross flow cylinder and the lights fell out the ceiling. Bloody hell. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> that's the cross flow um, cylinder head all finished now. So the spec is um, standard size valve, uh, which has been shot blasted, the stems polished and refaced. Uh, I don't know if you can see if the GoPro picks it up, but that slight ring around there is the lead free seats fitted. All the seats are cut three angle. Um, there's a new core plug in the back because the other one was rotten. That's the exhaust face, reconditioned. That's the port in. It's a fast road style cylinder head. So I've not gone massive, massive with it. Opened it up to the gasket, took some meat out the middle on the sides where it needs it. It's got bronze thin wall guides fitted. That's the inlet face, been machined. And that's the inlet let me see if I can get a torch and light them up. That's the inlet ports all done. Once again, bronze thin wall guides fitted there. And that's the rocker cover face. has been machined in the thermostat. Um, it's all been through the acid. And then it's got Kent cams, valve springs fitted to it. Uh, at the right installed height, I've machined it to get the installed height of the spring right. So these are a, a single spring but heavy duty. I've put modified stem seals on it as well, not the standard cross flow ones. And then finished it off with gloss black engine paint. So I hope you enjoyed the video of, of that being done from start to finish. Um, please leave a comment down below. Um, leave the word cross flow in the comments section please if you've made it to the end and please don't forget to like and subscribe to my video and my channel thank you